There is news tonight about screening for colon cancer, how it's done and who should have it. The Canadian Cancer Society estimates more than 187,000 people will be diagnosed with cancer this year. 22,000 of those cases will be colon cancer. About half of those patients will die of the disease. But if caught in the early stages, 90% of colon cancer cases can be cured. Our health specialist, Dr. Ali Zentner, is with me now. Dr. Zentner, there are new screening standards now across Canada for colon cancer. Tell us about them. So we used to have what's called the fecal occult blood testing where you would collect your stool, you would send it off, and what it was was literally looking for remnants of, of uh, uh, blood in the stool. The problem with that old test was that it was often influenced by if you were on, for example, iron supplementation, different foods actually caused false positives, and what was really most fascinating was it only picked up anywhere between 5 and 50 percent of all polyps. We now have what's called fecal immunochemical testing, which actually looks at the antibodies to hemoglobin, so it's a much more sensitive test, 98 percent sensitive, um, almost 100 percent specific. Um, picks up about 65 percent of all colon uh, uh, polyps and colon cancers. Easy to do, and in fact, in most provinces, can be actually mailed into the lab, so much more convenient. This is recommended annually now for patients over the age of 50 and up to the age of 74, and then absolutely a colonoscopy every 10 years. Well, a colonoscopy is the, still the gold standard for detecting that, uh, colon cancer. Absolutely, and in higher risk patients, so this was this is just general screening for everyone, but in higher risk patients, so for example, if you have a family member, first degree relative who had the disease, you should be screened 10 years before they were first diagnosed. So if you had a brother or sister who got the disease at 55, your first colonoscopy is at 45, every five years thereafter. Everyone else, it's every 10 years uh, after. And, and I think we're going to see even further evolution and further earlier detections as we progress within this disease. With these different tests. Are, are less invasive, let's face it. Than, Absolutely. Uh, than a colonoscopy. colonoscopy. Which is kind of the last thing anyone wants, but uh, is necessary in some cases. Again, as you mentioned, it is the gold standard. Uh, um, um, it is invasive. The beauty of a fecal immunochemical test is it's not invasive at all. I think things coming down the pipeline are things like um, CT guided colonoscopy or CT virtual colonoscopy, where we literally take a CAT scan. There's also capsule endoscopy, where you swallow almost a disposable camera that literally takes pictures through. I think those are things that we'll see emerging within the next five to ten years that again will add to the idea that the earlier you screen the more you prevent. All right. Dr. Zentner, thank you. Thank you.